like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this video was supposed to be just a review on the new foundation that I've seen everyone talking about everywhere on my Instagram timeline, on YouTube. First place I saw it was Andrea Renee, like that's who made me want to get it, but I've seen it everywhere. That's what it was supposed to be, but I did get this in the mail from Elf and Chipotle, so I kind of want to use this too. And there's some other things that I want to use, so I feel like it's kind of turning into a like trying new things, but the main focus is going to be the foundation so if you guys want to see that then let's go so i got this in the mail the other day and i was so confused because i was like do they just do they just send me a collaboration that's like years old because at the time i didn't know that they, this is part two if you guys didn't know there was a first round collaboration between elf and chipotle and i didn't know that there was coming out there was a second one that was coming out so i was like do they just send me like a year or two year old collaboration? But then like I read it and they thought, oh, oh no, this is just like a, a round two thing that they're doing here. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, round two, it piqued my interest when I saw, oh, this is what the palette looks like. Doesn't this look like a little lineup when you're in Chipotle? You know, they've got the, the lettuce and cheese and the meat and different things, stuff like that. I had to take this off so I could actually use the um, palette. But the names are, you know, lettuce, guac. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's a cute collection. There's also a little like avocado uh, makeup sponge. I'll show you when I'm uh, blending out the foundation. There's a hot, hot sauce, hot salsa lip gloss in the collection. I think it's, look, I don't know who asked for a e.l.f. Chipotle collaboration, but if you're gonna do the collaboration, at least do it correctly, right? I mean, did anyone ask for Mac and The Sims? No, but did they give it to us? Yes, and should they have kept it? Yes. But this one actually looks cute, it's on theme, and the colors are showing up on me, so they might have done did something. Y'all already knew I was gonna go with the, look at that. L listen, e.l.f. In the last year, I don't know, especially like during quarantine stuff, Elf done shown me that I was sleeping on it in past years because it does what it has to do and for an affordable price. I know that's right. <laughs> this collection is doing things for me. And then I'ma just stock up a little with some hot salsa on the outer corner and call it a day. This is the closest I've ever come to my liner being even, so I'ma just take it. Also, I wanna test this out in this video. It's from Cover Effects. You guys saw the like Ulta haul I did not so long ago, the Custom Blending Moisturizer. I, I'm pretty sure it's just a moisturizer. You're supposed to wear one, wear it. Ow, if I could open it like a moisturizer, so that's why I don't have anything else on my face, okay. And it looks like this, and then, Now for the star of the show, let me pull up the information. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. This retails for $20, 4.84 fluid ounces. This comes in 50 shades, if I'm doing the math correctly, eight, six, plus two, so that, that's gonna be 50 shades. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this shade range. Like, look at it. Yeah, you got a lot of shades, but you see how like all these shades up here could probably use multiple shades because the shades are like so close to each other and then you get to the bottom and it's like you're just gonna have to make that work. That's not how a diverse shade range works, but you know what? Okay, I went with the shade 59N. It actually color matched me to uh, the shade right before this one, but this one has the neutral undertone, so I purchased this shade instead. And this says what it is, a medium coverage natural finish foundation with a long wearing anti-pollution formula that hydrates skin for up to 12 hours and is infused with skincare benefits. Coverage is medium, finish is natural, formulation is liquid. What else you need to know? Best skin ever liquid foundation delivers a second skin effect and provides lasting hydration while covering imperfections. Its formula is clinically shown to reduce signs of stress, fatigue, and usage over time is proven to make skin smoother, more even, and more radiant. The bottle is made from 30% recycled glass. I also picked up their powder that they recommend you use with it. It's the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. I think this is just like a universal shade or something, like a, just a highlighting shade. Yeah. 
yeah let's just say that so go ahead and Put the foundation on. Oh, I didn't put primer on. I'm gonna use this LYS primer that's also sold at Sephora because I've been digging it lately, especially for my T-zone. I put a little too much, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Y'all, this is one pump and one pump is way too much for me. I had to wipe some off, but that's a good thing, you know? You won't have to use much of it to get you know especially if you like more coverage on your face you won't have to use much but i was like wait a minute let me go ahead and wipe this brush off because y'all doing a lot and i like to do like a little with foundation i'm gonna just do a little extra extra blending with the avocado sponge from the chipotle collab i could open this and see they don't okay so they sent Come on. They sent this, so like, right? Looks like this, and then there's a little, little tiny sponge like that, and then you know it's supposed to look like a little off. I thought, I well, I was gonna say it would have been cool like if you could actually insert the little sponge into this one, but you know like it has to be a practical product that you can use on your face, so it makes sense. So I'm gonna just go in with this one a little bit too. Just blend the foundation out a little more and then the smaller one makes sense to use for like blending concealer and stuff like that i mean now it's really starting to look a little more like an avocado right you give it like a good once over with a brush and then you really go into blend mode with a sponge i hope this isn't too small right like my finger's gonna start poking myself in the face but it allows you to get all up in there especially in your under eye And now for the powder, it's a little too much on there. I'm just gonna set my face, but I feel like I'm already sensing why people have been hyping up this product. It looks nice on the face. It also feels nice. And I feel like you can see that it's, you know, more matte. Well, it said normal finish, but I feel like this is giving kind of like matte finish foundation. And it just seems like it's gonna control your oil throughout the day. And because the focus of the video was on Sephora, I'm just gonna give myself a nice little once over with the Micro Smooth in the shade Deep 60. Just a little pat. Ooh, loud. And just literally all over. Now for the lips, I have an idea. I'm hoping it translates correctly from my mind to my lips. So I lined my lips with brown. I'm gonna take a little uh, of this Fenty cream in honey waffles just like a little bit again because i feel like this won't go correctly and then because i want to take the gloss from the collab in hot salsa as a topper and add some red once i open this where the scissors those scissors please translate how i want is it red it's even red or like a pinky shade well let's find out this smells like oh what's that candy what is that candy i don't like the actual candy the smell i don't mind but the candy and i can't remember but it's not no i don't remember what the smell is but it didn't really add much red at least not to me mm. I'll go with it. And yeah, y'all, that is it for my face day. Let me tell you, I am impressed with some of the things I tried on my face. Now, I tried a couple of new things, but I'm talking like the main attractions, the collaboration and the uh, Sephora foundation. This e.l.f. Chipotle, <laughs> look, it's been a minute since there was a collaboration, influencer, brand collaboration, anything like that, that actually caught my eye, that actually had me like, wait a minute, one, I wanna try it, and two, after I tried it, I was like, okay, I see what you did there, but this is one of them. Like the, like I said, the eyeshadow palette, the actual shades in there, I think are adorable, like well thought out, given what the collaboration is. And even though like this is what the colors have to look like for the collaboration, they still one, work together, and two, work on my skin tone. 
course I didn't use anything like over here, but I used pretty much this whole section right here, all of this here, and then both of these browns. It's really just these shades that I didn't check out, but would I check them out even uh, the two lightest shades? Yes, I would. And again, it's e.l.f. So, you know, it's actually, I'm not sure how much the collaboration costs, but it's e.l.f. So, you know, it's never going to cost you anything like 30, 40, 50 dollars, right? If max, I would, I would guess that this is somewhere around 50 if it even reaches $15, but I'll have the price show up on the screen. The sponges are adorable. They do their job as far as like blending the stuff and making sure your face looks good, all of that. The gloss, I'm a little disappointed. I've kind of wanted a little bit more like it's gonna show up red on my lips. It doesn't do that, at least to me, I don't see it. I like the combination that I got as far as um, the, the products I mixed and the makeup look that I have going on. I think it still works out, but I kind of wished it was a little more reddish on my lips. Maybe it is for other people. I haven't seen anyone else's video or anyone else uh, using these products yet so maybe it does look like that on others check around um but that's a little disappointing but the gloss itself it's kind of has a little uh, tingling to it like it's a plumping gloss and it feels like a nice gloss on the lips not too sticky but not those glosses that you just put it on you're like okay what am I supposed to do? Elf makes really nice glosses, so I'm here for the gloss. This is what the foundation looks like on my face. Okay, my lash is lifting, but that's okay because I'm about to take this off anyway because I have a workout, but I wanted to bring you guys a check-in in natural lighting hours later. This is my face is looking like, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the hype train. Spora did what they had to do with this foundation. Like, d hello, do you see that? Matteness, but... It's still, we still, we still giving skin. We're still get. oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm here for this foundation and she's only $20. Y'all know I love being able to say that. It's only $10, okay? The NYX Born and Glow, it's only $20. Okay, okay, Sephora and the powder. Um, I'm assuming the powder is also playing into why my oil is still controlled. I'm assuming, I don't know. I'm, I'm just give it to the powder and say that, but. Now, when you start seeing a product really, really hyped at the same time, and I'm talking like in non-associated reviews, in sponsored reviews, you're getting ads for it on your timeline, you're like, I don't know, something, something stinks. I don't know if I believe all that, but listen, Sephora did what they had to do with this foundation. It looks nice on, it feels nice on. Of course, I will keep you updated on how it actually wears throughout the day, and it's only $20. Okay, Sephora, I've tried a couple Sephora foundations. And just right now, first impression, I'd have to say this is probably the best one that I've tried. Best off how it looks and how it feels on. Again, gonna keep you updated on the wear, but okay. I'm For, for now, I'm a believer of the, of the hype that I saw. Do, will it stay that way? We'll see, but for now, Okay, and yeah, that is it for uh, this video, the stuff that I had to try, stuff I had to tell you guys. Let me know if you've picked any of this up, your thoughts on it, if you want to, if you plan to. Anything else that you've seen out there that you'd like me to check out, do a video on, let me know down below. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.